Hey everyone, I um, just want to do a review on the Bobbi Brown Long Wear Even Finish Foundation. box looks like this. It's exclusive to Asia at the moment. I'm not sure if they're going to be bringing it out in the UK or America or anything like that. But knowing Bobbi Brown, they'll probably bring a similar version out. Um, like I got this from Hong Kong, it was 420 Hong Kong dollars, which is around 35 pounds, and that's sort of average for Bobbi Brown liquid foundations. Um, first of all, what Bobbi Brown says about this foundation, it's a unique long-lasting foundation that offers oil-free coverage that looks like skin. Ultra comfortable, lightweight formula instantly hydrates skin and stays fresh for up to 12 hours and it's for normal to oily skin. Um, they also say it's gel based and it's medium to full coverage. Um, the bottle looks like this. It's um, a glass bottle, it's got quite a bit of weight to it and um, it's a pump lid which is great. I hate it when liquid foundations doesn't come with a pump, um, especially the higher end brand ones where they make you pay for it, such as MAC and NARS, which bugs me. Um, and I use around two and a half pumps for my face and to bring it down a bit into my neck as well. So you don't actually use that much of the foundation either, and I actually like to have um, not a thicker layer, um, a more full layer for when I have really bad breakout days. So, and two and a half pumps is usually the max I would have. On days when I just want a sheer coverage, two pumps, and I'll probably have a bit extra where I bring it right down to my neck. So, what I think about this foundation, I absolutely love it. I can see why it's um, exclusive to Asia because it's made for the um, humidity over there, the stickiness, the heat, etc. And while I was in Hong Kong, I never really found a foundation that actually stayed put on my face. So when this came out, I brought it and loved it instantly. It's the foundation that I brought over to wear when I was in Vietnam and the humidity and heat there was a lot worse in compared to Hong Kong. So I can definitely say that this would withstand heat. Um, it doesn't shift. It stays on all day, literally all day, because sometimes I've had this on from morning till late at night before I have a chance to take it off. Um, the color, the color selection is great. I think they have about 10 shades. It ranges from porcelain to, I think, warm natural. Um, what else? Um, it doesn't stop my oils from coming through, but I find that when I blot it with um, blotting sheets, um, it gets rid of the oil, but the foundation hasn't shifted underneath so I don't have to reapply to make it fresh looking or anything because once I've blotted the oil away the foundation still looks really fresh. Um, I have got this, the first one I brought was in Natural 4, it's because it had a really dark tan, I, this is the one I'm using at the moment, it doesn't look like I have a dark tan at the moment, but I do, so the lighting here is not that good. But um, I'm using the Natural 4 at the moment, and it suits my skin tone perfectly. And this is what it looks like. So once you've blended it in, it's really it blends in really well, it doesn't feel sticky, it feels really light for such a high coverage um, and I absolutely love it. You can see it blends in seamlessly. I also brought Warm Sand which is 2.5. I brought this at Hong Kong Airport 
and this is my backup for when my tan goes or starts to fade and I can start mixing the two. That is how much I love this foundation. I was actually thinking about what am I going to do when I run out and I go back to the UK. So I brought another one. But like I said, it feels really lightweight. It goes on really fresh. Um, it doesn't dry too instantly so you can actually blend it in take your time and blend it in which I like I hate foundations that dries almost immediately and you're left with patches if you haven't blended it in quick enough um, and it ha oh it has an SPF of 15 which is great it works well with my moisturizing cream which always has an SPF on and um, I think that is it to conclude, I love this foundation. Um, it's lightweight, it stays put, it withstands the heat and humidity. I know you don't get, it doesn't get too hot in the UK, but I don't think I've ever found a foundation that's actually stayed on and looked fresh all day, and literally all day. So I'm definitely going to be keeping this foundation, and if I can get a hold of it, I will definitely be getting loads of backups just in case I don't go back to Hong Kong. Um, so I hope you found this review useful. Um, I know it can get really hot in the US in certain places as well, so you never know, Bobby Brown might bring it out over there. If not, um, I guess you have to wait for it to come out on, on a site such as yesasia.co.uk. Um, or yesasia.com. I know they'll eventually stock it there, but um, it depends how high demand it is. So, um, yeah. Like I said, I hope you found this review useful. Let me know if you have any questions about the products or anything else. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.